it's going to be a good hockey club. I mean, that's the other thing. It's going to be a very good hockey club. It's going to have a chance to compete again, and I wouldn't be shocked to see them back here in this same spot. Yeah, the spouses who have been frequent guests on our program the last few games just passing by in front of our set here, and uh, there's more than a few wet eyes, as you could imagine. Oh, no, they take it as hard as the players do. So that's the unfortunate part of hockey is somebody has to lose. And it's hard on the players, it's hard on the families. But in a week's time, you'll look back at it, and our coaches used to tell us, take the positive and look at the positive side of it and try and build off of that for the following year. It's just hard to find positive right away. Yeah, it's going to take a little while for this thing to come out of this one. But again, we want to congratulate the Hershey Bears. 12 Calder Cups in 85 years. Pretty impressive. They have been. They were last one, I believe, was like 2011. Does that sound 2010, right? 2010, I believe. 2010, okay. So it's been a, a dry spell for the Bears as well. And I tell you what, if it wasn't going to be the newest team in the league, I guess it's all right that it's the oldest team in the league. It's certainly one of the most iconic in a place you know pretty well, Hershey, Pennsylvania. You've been there on numerous occasions and say it's a beautiful city. And I'll be back there again in July for the Big Penn Bank Celebrity Golf Event where they raise a lot of money for a great charity. So I'll be back to support that. And it would have been more fun with a Calder Cup. But <laughs> you should have rubbed some noses in it back at Hershey. I could, huh? I could have, but I'm sure yeah. I'll hear about it when I get there. So Yeah, I suspect it will come up as well. All right, so again, we're just waiting now for the official word on who the MVP is. That trophy will be presented by HL League President uh, Scott Housen, who was on our program earlier this evening. Then, of course, the presentation of the cup to the captain and the coaches. They'll do a skate around, and we'll stay with them as they celebrate their 12th Calder Cup. And again, the great part about hockey is they let the families come down on the ice. Yeah. I mean, I, back when we, the first year we won the Cup, 84. The fans jumped over the glass and joined, the, joined us. Oh, yeah, Northlands Coliseum, yeah. <laughs> after that, they got a little more finicky about who managed to make it down onto the ice level. Yeah. No oh, back in the old days, I mean, back in the old days, yeah, used to fans, the family used to run in the ice like that, and the whole team would pray around the ice like that. Now, it's like traditional, you get the con smile, then the captain raises the cup, and the skates around, then he hands them off. It's not like the old days where the whole team skates around, like the Dynasty Islanders. I remember that, or the old Dynasty Canadians. First of all, I would like to thank all the fans that have supported our playoffs throughout the 85 games that we played this year we had a record for attendance and we had tremendous support throughout the playoffs thank you and to the fans in hershey and to the fans here in coachella valley thank you so much it was sellout after sellout after sellout with great energy and Coachella Valley, you set a record for one team's total attendance in the playoffs. Thank you very much. Now I would like to uh, introduce Haley Moore, our Vice President of Hockey Operations with the AHL, and she's going to present the Jack Butterfield trophy that goes to the most valuable player of the Calder Cup playoffs. Okay. This year, this year the winner comes from Hershey. He played every game and he was the backbone of this hockey team. He has great numbers. The Jack Butterfield Award winner is Hunter Shepard. Graham was right. He said he called it. He said it was going to be it was going to be Hunter Shepard. Company, congratulations to the Washington Capitals, Chris Patrick. Congratulations to Brian Helmer, 
who built this hockey team his fourth Calder Cup, his first in management. And to Todd Nelson, the coach of this hockey team, his fourth Calder Cup, two as a head coach, one as his assistant coach, and one as a player. It's quite an achievement. But most of all, to you, the players. This was an incredible run, 97 points, 14 and 6 in the playoffs. You showed commitment, you showed sacrifice, and you showed teamwork. And you won today, and that means you walk together forever. Dylan Makaroff, come and get this call to come. There it is, your Calder Cup champions, the Hershey Bears, raising that cup for the 12th time in their history. And that concludes the hockey season 2022-2023, the American Hockey League. Yep. We'll take a couple of months off, and then we'll be back here in October. Now it's official, the hockey season's over for, for this year. As we start to send things back. In about, uh, probably about... Three months from now, then you get 23 to 24, we'll start to kick off in training caps. Going into the start of the year, you weren't sure what you were going to have with the Firebirds. And Troy Bodie, the coaching staff, built a great hockey team. I mean, for them to get this far in their first year says a lot about the organization. You look at the ownership group, you look at all the management, the coaches, the players. You can't say enough about them and what they've done for the Valley here. And I look forward to watching them build on that. Well, as we start to sign off, we want to thank some folks. We want to thank our friends over at KESQ News Channel 3 for being our broadcast partners this year. Floodstream Production for putting each one of these games on the air. And, of course, I want to thank my good friend, Grant Fuhr, for being our co-host throughout the year. And our leader, the voice of the Coachella Valley Firebirds, Evan Pivnik, for NHL Network. For Root Sports in the Pacific Northwest, Fox 43 in Hershey, Pennsylvania, wherever you're watching tonight and here on Fox 11 in the Coachella Valley, thank you. It's been an amazing year. We can't wait to get back here next year. For Heck yeah. Here, can't wait for next year. Carolina, Especially Fire for the Kraken. We'll see you next year. Have Coachella Fire, Fire Bros and Seattle Kraken. That's going to wrap it up here.